Seven Star Superior is now live in Scarlet and Violet. In today's video, we've got another solo build to cover that's going to make beating it or farming for Herba Mystica super easy. So the Pokemon build that we're featuring in today's video is Surviper. If you don't have one in game, and the reason I'm covering it because not everyone has access to the DLCs, if you've got the base games, you've got access to this Pokemon and it's going to be a very easy way to farm over this weekend or just beat it in game. You want to head to the South Province Area 5 and you're going to be looking in these patches of grass for Surviper. will be easy enough to spot. You don't need to put a sandwich down to get it, but you shouldn't take too long to be able to find this in game. Give a big shout out to Mr. Crusher 5108 for this build, but it is one that works extremely well. The Surviper build is going to be down in the description if you want to take a look at it after the video. But follow along now and you'll be able to put it together in no time at all. Level 100, make sure that it is hyper trained with a poison terror type, which it'll have after you catch it in the area that we've just covered. Shell Bell is the held item for a line of recovery. The moveset of Gastro Acid, Acid Spray, Venus Shock, and Sludge Bomb. Make sure that you do PP Max your Sludge Bomb just to be on the safe side. And Acid Spray is the only TM that you're going to need. It will learn the other three moves via level up. Ability here is going to be Shed Skin. If you keep it throughout the raid, it's going to be useful, especially if you get glared. The EV spread is going to be 252 EVs in Special Attack and in Defense, and the remainder in HP with a modest nature. So that's the build there get into the battle and show you how easy it can be so turn zero you're gonna see the superior go for a sweet scent that's gonna lower our evasiveness making those lower accuracy moves hit us for 100 percent every time you don't necessarily need an intimidate user in your side of the field either it doesn't make any difference turn one we're just gonna lock in with gastro acid that's gonna just nullify the ability on superior side of the field which is that contrary so anytime it goes for a leaf storm rather than get the boost it will actually get a drop, making it weaker, easier for us to deal with. Then turn two, it's very straightforward. Go for an acid spray. We're going to go for three acid sprays over the next few turns. And then once it's down to minus six, we'll be able to terrestrialize. We're going to be able to do that and then go on from there. Acid spray number two and acid spray number three. And this will take the superior down to minus six special defense. So making sure that those sludge bombs are hitting as odd as possible and if the superior is poisoned at any point in the, this match then use the venom shock and shock is has its power doubled anytime the target pokemon is poisoned so meaning that it will turn into a 120 base power attack which is really great there's a break and swipe it has nullified stats on our side of the field shield probably will go up after this next turn but we're ready to terrestrialize now after those three acid sprays so we'll lock in with that and like i say if it is poisoned at this situation it's worth using the venishock it's not poisoned just use that sludge bomb it will just be as effective just the venishock here is going to be a little bit more powerful and that's the one thing with the surviper you're looking out for in this raid when that superior is poisoned lock in with venishock when it's not use the sludge bomb pretty straightforward just to follow that there's venishock doing some nice big damage to the superior so there's the shield going up on the superior and it will negate all negative effects from itself that's the other point that we're looking for in this raid now we need to go for three more acid sprays that's going to take its special defense down to minus six once again just keep an eye on your health as you're going through this raid of course because that's one thing you need to keep an eye on as we go forward but we're just getting to the point where it's minus six again and again if it's poisoned when we get round two being able to attack it we'll use the venishock if not we'll just use the sludge bomb we've got two nice options there as we take an iron tail and fire off that second round of acid sprays into it taking it down to minus six special defense and then it's pretty much ready for us to close this one out and it's pretty quick like you can see the raid timer is in such a good position here it's not even hit that 50 percent mark yet and we are ready to get going if it is poisoned here then you are going to have a quicker time to close this raid out but like it's not for us we're just going to have to revert to using the sludge bomb but the nice thing about sludge bomb is it does have that secondary effect where it can poison the target pokemon activating potentially the venom shock as well as we are going to see it double attack here with the iron tail and then a leaf storm but we take those pretty comfortably even though we are a little bit lower health at this stage but it is poisoned and i didn't even realize ah, i could have locked in with the venom shock but never mind, we do some nice impactful damage anyway, get a critical hit, we'll recover all that health off and then the next turn we're going to be able to Venom Shock because of that poison, close this up and like you say, the raid timer not even at 50% yet. It's a very quick, consistent way to beat the superior in this raid. 
you're going to have an, a not a hard time at all, especially if you're looking to farm for Herba Mystica over this weekend while the event's running. One of the bonuses about this event is that you're going to get those item drops. Like I say, it might be even quicker than the, the Slow King that we've already featured on the channel. If you want to check out that build as well, then be my guest. That is a very consistent build to use and you're going to have a lot of options with Superior. But I wanted to put something out that was available to everyone in the base games. Didn't exclude anyone. Didn't mean you needed to get a starter Pokemon. Didn't mean you needed the DLCs. Surviper is a Pokemon that is available to you all. And you're going to have a lot of success with when you're using it. Just follow what we did in this raid. If this build was helpful, please consider dropping a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel as well if you want to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. Thank you so much for tuning in, friends. Good luck farming the Superior over this weekend while it's running. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves, and bye-bye.